How can digital marketing help grow your business? Well, let's start with some crazy numbers. Did you know there are over 60,000 searches conducted every second on Google? That equals out to over 5 billion searches every single day. And the average person conducts between three and four searches a day. So there's no doubt that people are online. And I don't think that's a surprise to anyone because, well, here we are right now. Your business can capture a lot of this traffic online, but for those businesses that don't show up online, it's as if in the eyes of the consumer, they don't even exist. So how do you get in front of an online audience? Well, it all starts with digital marketing. Hi, I'm Lindsay Berta, founder of Berta Marketing, a marketing agency designed specifically for small business owners where I handle all of your marketing so you can focus on what you love. So how can digital marketing help grow your business? Well, what is one of the first things that you do when you need something? Maybe it's a new product or service or simply an answer to a question that you've been pondering. What do you do? I bet I know. I bet you Google it. Looking for a new pair of shoes? Google it. Looking to hire a moving company? Google it. Looking for a good restaurant? Google it. Consumers are online searching for what they need. Just how often? Well, according to HubSpot research, there are 63,000 searches conducted every second on Google. That equals out to 5.6 billion searches every day. And the average person conducts between three and four searches every single day. There is no doubt people are online. I don't think that's a surprise to anyone because as I said, well, here we are right now. Your business can capture a lot of this traffic online, but for those businesses that don't show up online, it's as if in the eyes of the consumer that they don't even exist. Out of sight, out of mind. So how do you get in front of an online audience? Digital marketing. So what exactly is digital marketing? Well, digital marketing is marketing that uses digital avenues to deliver your message versus traditional means like print. Digital marketing uses the internet, digital technologies, and platforms to promote products and services. The introduction of the internet in the 90s changed the way businesses do marketing forever. As the internet became more popular and home computers and smartphones became more prevalent, people increasingly began using digital devices instead of visiting physical locations as often, you know, or picking up a newspaper, for example. Digital marketing, in turn, has become more prevalent. So, is digital marketing good for small businesses? There are multiple reasons why digital marketing is good for small businesses. A big reason being it is way more affordable than traditional marketing and allows you to reach a wider audience. What's more is that the majority of consumers are consulting online research prior to making a purchase. As a small business or business of any size, you have many more opportunities to get in front of your target audience today than ever before. Additionally, digital marketing tends to be more engaging for you and your audience provide a wider search, a wider reach, allows for more flexibility in strategy and more multimedia options, makes it easier to directly target your ideal audience and retarget interested audiences, and it gives you the advantage of instant feedback, insights, and analytics, allowing you to see what's working and what's not almost instantly so you can adjust your strategy on the spot. And why do we even need digital marketing? Well, aside from the reasons I've mentioned, over 80% of consumers are conducting an online search before a purchase. 80%. So people are, are online, they are doing research, they are spending time on social media. So you want to go where the people are. You want to be where your audience is to capture their attention and their business. Even if you don't have a strong digital presence, it's almost certain that your competition does. So when over 80% of consumers are doing research online, they're going to go with the business that is easily and readily available to them. Showing up and being found is only the first step. From there, you need to use a digital marketing strategy to grow your business. 
So how does a digital marketing strategy help grow your business? Well, in a world where we love transparency, we are accustomed to having all the information we could ever need right at our fingertips, we now expect it. And we expect it from the companies we buy from too. We want instant information, we want our questions to be answered as quickly as possible, and we want to have control over how we get it. Consumers are looking into every detail of a company or product before making a purchase. Your digital presence helps them make that decision. When you have a strong digital presence, it allows you to show up more often and in front of the right people. It allows you to build awareness in your brand and your company, build trust and authority in your niche, become more searchable, build relationships with consumers, build social proof, stay top of mind, and more easily capture repeat business. So how do you do all of this effectively? Well, every business's digital marketing will look a little different. Just like every business is different, every target audience is different, your digital marketing strategy will be different. But there is a basic framework the basic items you can tick off your digital marketing to-do list, and this helps you build a strong online presence to reach your target audience online. First and foremost, we need to be clear on our messaging. Know who you are, who you serve, and why. Know your ideal audience's pain points so you can speak directly to them and prove to them that you are the solution. Because we have to remember, no one really cares about our businesses. It's true, they care about their problems and whether we can solve them. That will be the deciding factor that makes them buy. So show them you are the solution with a strong message and digital presence. Be sure that you have a well-designed website. Your website will be your online hub. It should be on brand, speak directly to your ideal client or customer's pain points, and be easy to navigate and it should be optimized for search engines so that people can actually find it. Be sure that you set up a Google business profile. It's free, and this can help you appear in more local search results, including maps. It's also a great place to collect and display reviews. I also encourage everyone to have a free lead magnet. Now, dependent upon your business, people are often not apt to call right away. They want to learn as much as they can first to see if it is worth their time and money. Having a lead magnet like a free guide or an exclusive trial allow them to enjoy a small perk in return for providing you their email address. And now you have a lead. Now have a strong and engaging social media presence as well because today consumers love that transparency and getting to know businesses on a more personal level. By showing up on social media, you allow them to get an inside look, which helps them in their decision-making process, and it helps keep you top of mind. Speaking of top of mind, we like to include email marketing as well. That lead magnet helps you build an email list, and now you have a way to stay in front of those leads. Sending weekly emails is a great way to stay top of mind. There are many free resources too, like MailChimp, to help you do this. And be sure that you are collecting and displaying reviews. Most people rely heavily on reviews before making a purchase decision. It's like word of mouth digitized. Be sure you are collecting reviews and keeping them on display. You can easily do this, like I said, on your Google business profile. Now this basic framework is great starting point for any small business, but consider consulting a marketing professional if you are not experienced or don't have the time to stay consistent with it all. The last thing you want to do is leave your audience hanging or worse, leave them with a bad first impression because consumers are not likely to give a second chance. There is a statistic that says that 88% of users will not return to a website after a bad experience. That's really high. Digital marketing is very fast paced, so we've got to stay in front of our audiences or be buried by the competition. So do you have a strong digital presence that's working for you? Take a look at your current marketing efforts. Do you have a well-designed website? And I don't just mean, does it look good? Does it look professional? But is it easy to navigate? Is it user-friendly? Is it optimized for search engines? Also be sure that you have a Google business profile. 
make sure that you have a free lead magnet. This will help you gather those email addresses. Have a strong and engaging presence on social media to engage with your audience. Start that email marketing and be sure to collect and display those reviews. This should help give you a good start to effective digital marketing. Looking to outsource? Be sure to consult a marketing professional like me. Reach out anytime for a free, no obligation consultation. And once again, I'm Lindsay Berta, founder of Berta Marketing, a marketing agency designed specifically for small business owners where I handle all of your marketing so you can focus on what you love. For more small business marketing tips, subscribe to this podcast or find me online at bertamarketing.com. Thanks for listening.